Hey, what's going on everyone? Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. Today, guys, I want to talk a little bit about passion and making your dreams become a reality. But the problem is, most of people's dreams, most of people's goals and ambitions are things that they think they want that ultimately change from day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. If you want to really make something happen, if you really want to to have that ultimate goal you have to find something that's not going to change it has to become unwavering in your soul in your heart in your mind and in your body you have to ingrain it into you at a core level now once you ingrain that into you once you bring a certain amount of energy into that into that belief into that desire it'll manifest itself no matter what and if you bring a certain amount of value to other people through that passion, through that desire, there's no way that you can't become financially free, happy, and fulfilled doing that every day. But the problem is a lot of people don't even know what they want. So ask yourself, what is it that I really want? What is it that I could do for 10 years, not get paid, and still love doing it every single day? Fitness for me has always been a thing. I'll never let fitness go. I always thought my body was a preparatory for a higher purpose. And uh, I've come to find that it is. And recently, you know, within the past three to four years, I've found that personal development in yoga and the sciences behind that and law of attraction have become ultimately a really big passion of mine. And enlightenment has become a goal that I'll never set down, that I'll, always, that I'll indefinitely chase until I achieve it. Find something that's like that for you. Find something that you're so passionate about that after you get off your job, you're just excited to go and uh, to develop it more, to whatever it is, whether it's your knowledge, your understanding, your exp exp uh, experiential um, focus of it. Because let's face it, all, all of... Uh, all the meditation, the yoga, the, the the sides of enlightenment, it's not anything intellectually known. It's all something that you feel inside. It's, it's uh, you have to experience it for yourself. So find something that, that drives you. Find something that makes you want to develop it more. That's gonna, that's gonna make you, you know, say no to partying and no to, this, that, or the other thing, whether it's drugs or alcohol or tobacco or, uh, you know, hanging out with friends or, or whatever it is, guys. You have to be more committed, more focused, more developed, more have a deeper desire for, for this higher purpose than you do for a temporary comfort, guys. And if you develop that inside, if you find that, there's no question in my mind that you can't you know, live your own dreams. You can't, that, there's no question in my mind that you can't become financially free, that you can't be your ultimate happiness, that you can't feel that sense of fulfillment, that you're bringing more to this world than, any, than anybody else could in, in your field of study. And uh, right now, whatever it might be that you're doing, whether it's working for somebody else or maybe you've, you know, started your own job, if you're not 100% happy, if you're only 99, you owe it to yourself to find out what that last little bit is, what you have to do to make that happen. Working for somebody else, for me anyways, has never given me a sense of fulfillment and happiness. I always felt like I was working to make their dreams uh, bigger and more of a reality than it, than it was for me to work on myself to make my own dreams happen. I have my own vision, my own desires, and working for somebody else wasn't gonna, gonna get me to my ultimate. It might get me, you know, 75% of the way. It might be a nice vehicle to take me from one to the other. But ultimately, that wasn't the end destination, and I've known that. So, find out in yourself what your end destination is. Find out what, it, what it's gonna take to to become that person that you want to be and start doing the things that it is that it's going to take to become that person and find out look inside what it's going to take who you want to be what you want to do 
you only have a vague idea. I was talking to a friend. He said he likes to be outside and he likes to help people. Well, there's a million things he could do. He could make an obstacle course. He could make a survival course. He could teach people how to shoot. He could, you know, windage, yardage, all that good stuff, bullet drop. Uh, I mean, there's so many things that he could teach these people how to do that's outside, that's, you know, fun, that he has a passion for, that would be helping people. All these things you could, you could possibly do. So you gotta have to narrow your focus and you have to find out ultimately what you want. What's gonna bring you to that ultimate, to that highest purpose and potential of who you could be. That's the most important part. And then once you decide that, just start developing yourself. Don't worry about trying to make all the money in the world. Don't try and worry about, you know, starting your own business and getting out of the job that you have. Sure, I mean, that's part of it. That's part of your financial freedom and your happiness and your fulfillment. But ultimately, just keep working on yourself and developing it, your passion and, your, and honing your skills. And then before you know it, just like Jim Rohn says, you don't, you don't become successful. You attract success. You become so, so, of so much value to people. You present yourself in such a way that people, people are just, you just bring in the people that you need. You attract the money and the, the, the wealth and the, and the fame and the, and the financial freedom. You attract that into your life because of the person that you become. So don't chase the money, guys. Don't chase the, don't chase the, you know, the sense of, uh, the sense of, of not going to work for somebody else. Chase the development of yourself and ultimately you'll find there what you really want to become. This is Max Fisher from Invader Universe, Mind, Body, Spirit Connection. I'll see you on the next one, guys.